it's a powerful moment that, for all uh, of us to be together. These are the parents of Katie Meyer, Arlena Miller, Morgan Rogers, and Tyler Holinsky, all four star athletes and star students. Katie was Stanford's championship winning goalkeeper and team captain. Katie was uh, radiant, brilliant. She was the life of the party. Arlena stood front and center on the cheerleading team at Southern University in Louisiana. She was very talented. Whatever she wanted to do, she could have done. Morgan achieved her dream to play lacrosse for Duke. Morgan was such a rock star, and I mean a charismatic, win the room over type of personality. Rush at four, Holinsky has time. Tyler made history when he threw a game winning touchdown for Washington State University. Students carried him off the field. Tyler was awesome. You would have really liked him. He was just one of those likable guys. Four college students who had everything going for them until it felt too hard to go on. Katie and Arlena died by suicide this year. Tyler took his own life in 2018. A year later, Morgan did too. Their parents sat down with us to talk about a pain that doesn't go away and to share their common message. Why is it so important to be here? The easy thing to do would be to stay home and cry all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the easy way. We have to step up and try to help in any way we can. If this can happen to Tyler, it can happen to anybody. Our family, we were so close and we loved each other and we talked every day, right? We, we did all this stuff. It's scary for other families to even go there to think, wow, this could happen to my kid. Especially there's no red flags. And we had zero red flags. Morgan was on her own agenda. She knew we loved her. She had an incredibly supportive family. I mean, I think it's one of our very common denominators in this room. If love could have saved them all, they'd all be here uh, right, because right, we all right. love them more than life itself. We would have yeah. given our lives for our kids. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for college students. A recent NCAA survey found the rates of mental exhaustion, anxiety, and depression in student athletes is nearly two times higher than before the pandemic. Athletes really are under so much pressure and they grind every single day. They're up at 6 a.m., they're going to practice. They follow that with classes. That kind of pressure on campus and online. I think social media has a lot to do with that. I think that perfectionism is, is part of what all of our, our children, you know, possess. What is it about social media that makes that pressure just ramp up now? as compared to years past. They're judged so much, right? There's a lot of negative mm. comments. This Our is, kids told us not to read them, yeah. yet they were absolutely, you know, mm -hmm. kind of keeping score. Arthur Miller acknowledging know. sometimes parents can add to the pressure too. A lot of times we push our children and we try to live our lives through them. Research shows those who strive for perfection are more reluctant to seek help. Morgan Rogers went to counseling, but she never told anyone how she was really feeling. The elephant in the room, this is mental illness. Mental illness is a chemical problem inside of Morgan's brain. Their brain just betrayed them, mm -hmm. and they chose a, a permanent solution to what really is a temporary problem in a 21-year-old's in life. You have to reach the kids and let them know it's not just how you were brought up. So when you're talking to someone that you think might need some help, you're not supposed to say, are you thinking about hurting yourself? You are supposed to come out directly and say, are you thinking about killing yourself? Mm -hmm. Because if you ask, are you hurting yourself? Their brain has told them, no, as a matter of fact, I can't wait to stop the pain. So they'll say no. Parents out there are gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, what can I learn? from what these poor people are going through. I have an what, answer what, for that. Yeah. So I loved having dinner at the table. It was just my thing. And we talked about every topic that there is. So at an early age, we discussed sex. Mm -hmm. We discussed drugs. But there was nothing that we left off the table except, looking back, mental health. Yeah. Yeah. Gina and Steve Meyer say Katie was facing a disciplinary issue they didn't know anything about. They are now pushing for more conversation between parents and universities. When your kids go away to college, you are in the dark. You do not get any information regarding your children. They have to tell you. 
And again, our kids all being very strong and they want to adult, right? If we had received just baseline information that we would have stepped in and perhaps this would have been mm -hmm. prevented. Had we known anything. Had we known a thing. Open conversation, something these parents all agree will help. I don't think anybody sitting here would wish yeah. what we're yeah. going through yeah. on another oh, human being. We're all in this crappy club, you know, that nobody asked to join. I think it's a, there's a greater purpose. We have to make something good come out of this. Like yep. something yeah. good has to come That's out good. of this tragedy. So if we're going to be the ones to step up, we're going to be the ones to make some changes. That's how I feel. And we won't. Quit. Yeah. Right. Until right. It's, it's done. right. It just. Right. It. <sighs> yeah. Gina Myers. Gina Myers calls it finding purpose and pain, the desire to do something to help others. All of these families are hoping they can through foundations like Helinski's Hope, Morgan's Message, and Katie's Save. Arlena's family has set up a scholarship in her name. We have details on each organization and how you can help your own college student on today.com. It's an eye-opening conversation it for any parent, and mm. they're just so brave to get together and tell these stories. It made me think about Harry Miller, who was here, who yeah. played for Ohio State, the football player, the outside linebacker. He sat right here. And he was talking about the pressure. And you see a lot of student athletes there that maybe yeah. the NCAA or nationally, we need to have more tools and more options in place for the student athletes to turn to for mental yeah. health issues. I think that's absolutely true. And the other point, too, is that social media yeah. takes all of these issues mm -hmm. and amplifies yep. it. It's like a megaphone for yep. the bad. And yep. when that happens and these kids don't realize that life cycles mm -hmm. around, it yep. gets goes bad and yep. it gets better, then they just get stuck. And I think that dad saying we talked about everything, everything. Right. except yeah. that because you under like yeah. every parent here is thinking why would i want to bring that up right and now you get it right like you get it yeah well, and the whole pursuit. like there's no red flags i think yeah. parents think that there's red flags that they're missing all over the place but it's possible that there is no yeah. red flag yeah, yeah. Makes communication yeah. that much more important. Yeah. Steph, thank you. That was such an important yeah. conversation. In fact, I would encourage folks to go back and watch it on today.com. Uh, watch the whole thing all over again. And here's another important reminder, by the way. If you know someone who is in crisis, here's the phone number. This is the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. You can call that number, 1-800-273-8255. You can also text HOME, just the word HOME, to 741741. Again, this information is on our website as well. All right, and Carson, you'll have another Mind Matters story for us yeah. later this week. I know how much this means to you. Yeah, it does. And we, um, Kendall Tool, I don't know if you've oh, sure. oh, yeah. uh, has a great story. We have a similar background. We're both from Southern California. Uh, she, she came a second away, like a second away from taking her own life. And literally a miracle occurred. A miracle yeah. happened that mm -hmm. you've never heard. I swear to God, a miracle. And it's a it's an inspiring story, oh. and she's she's obviously yeah. great, but she has a lot of words of wisdom. So we're mm -hmm. excited to share that story. Mm -hmm. Got to keep this conversation mm -hmm. going. Yeah. It's life or death. Mm -hmm. We're back in a moment. This is today on NBC. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.